early morning scenes at Highway Secondary School in South B, Nairobi. These are students who are affected by smoke after one of the dormitories caught fire. 31 students and one staff member were rushed to Kenyatta Referral Hospital for treatment for smoke inhalation and soft tissue injuries. We need all of us as stakeholders to be able to talk to our children, talk to the society in general. Really, this idea of uh, burning of schools and uh, doing such kind of criminal acts, I think it requires the comp uh, combined efforts of all of us to be able to, to address and talk to our children, talk to everybody else to ensure that we don't have such kind of incidences. Inside the dormitory, a section of it is damaged. Neighbors say they had an alarm go off around 6 a.m. At that time, students were in class for their morning preps. Those affected rushed to the dormitory to try remove their belongings. We got to organize, even getting the mattresses, buying where our boys will sleep and all that. Whoever that person is who tried to ban, we want to say that it is very bad to imagine of burning a school. Earlier, parents were barred from accessing the school. They camped outside the gate for a while before frustration got the better part of them. And they forcefully entered when a guard at the school opened the gate for a driver believed to be a teacher at the school. Some of the parents were overcome by emotion when they saw their children. Out of the 31 students rushed to the hospital, 26 were discharged and the remaining five are being observed by doctors for a few more hours. The school has been closed indefinitely. All students have been released to go home with the exception of those who are leaving outside Nairobi who are expected to leave the institution tomorrow. As of now, five students have been arrested and they are assisting police officers with investigations. Sharon Baranga, NTV. Nairobi.